Welcome to Eating Enlightenment. Today we're talking about cheese cravings. Why you crave cheese. Generally speaking, there are two fundamental reasons why you crave cheese, emotions and physical reasons, mind and body. And we're gonna show how these can play out in your life. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps grow and spread the message of eating enlightenment. Real quick, I wanna start off by sharing that back in high school, I would go and eat so much cheese. The doctor said that I was healthy, but that I had high triglycerides, dangerously high because, well, he didn't really know because I was binge eating all this cheese in secret and I wasn't about to fess up to it in front of my parents who were also there, but they were concerned. And um, long story short, I joined the monastery, studied Buddhism, and Buddhism has so much wisdom on cravings. And so what I kind of learned in the monastery was that when I was well fed and that when I was practicing awareness and loving myself, mind and body, when I was practicing the mind and body, when I had enough food for my body and when the mind part was in alignment, then my cheese cravings, they were still there, but I could push through them. And so that's what I want for you to get out of this, this video, not for the cheese cravings to go away, but to be able to push through them. Um, okay, so physically, let's look at cheese from a physical standpoint. Cheese has a lot of calories, a lot of fat, not necessarily the worst type of fat, not necessarily the best type of fat. The best type of fat might be like olive oil or yogurt. Um, it comes, it's like from a plant, plant fat, right? Versus animal fat. But animal fat isn't as bad as like the fried fat that comes from fried oils and different things like that. So we have an okay type of fat. We have a lot of protein and cheese, a lot of calories. It fills you up. Now for me, when I was wrestling back in the day, I would be starving myself. I would be working like, you know, you go to school as a kid and kids are always so tired. They don't, they stay up all night and then they go to school and like they're bored. And so I wasn't eating during the day. And I had a half hour where I'd, or about an hour where I'd come home and then I'd go to wrestling practice. And that was my time when I was home alone and no one was there and I could eat cheese. I didn't get too full. Like sometimes after wrestling tournaments, I'd eat so much in and out and stuff that I'd be, I couldn't even move. This was just like a lot of cheese. I would go bloated to wrestling practice, but I could get through it. Um, it wasn't like a full on binge, but that was where my cheese consumption was coming from. And I look at it and I look at the little amount of food I was having during the day. I mean, breakfast was like a bowl of cereal and then lunch was like a small peanut butter sandwich. And that was it. That was it. And so from a physical standpoint at four, three or 4 PM, when I was getting off of school, right before wrestling practice, from a physical standpoint, my body needed calories. It knew that it was about to go work out. It was preparing itself. From a physical standpoint, you can be craving cheese because you are eating like not enough food, basically. You can be on a diet, right? Some sort of some sort of healthy diet, some sort of diet where you're quote unquote being healthy, but you're really just not eating enough. You know, let's be clear, like if you're not eating enough, you're start you're gonna be physically hungry. Your body needs fuel. So that can be a big cheese cause of cheese cravings. Your body simply needs those quick energies of it, it, your body's lagging in its energy needs. So it needs cheese because cheese has a lot of fat, has a lot of protein, has a lot of energy. So you're like drawn to this rich source of energy because you're so depleted. Now, th that's the physical, the body part. Let's switch on to the mental side of things because quite frankly, I loved zoning out when I had the cheese. I'd go home and the the cheese would be like, I'd even like microwave it sometimes, I'd cut it and, um, and it, it was just bliss, right? It was just like eating this warm cheese, kind of like taking my mind off things. All the people that I work with are workaholics. They work, 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 work. They grind themselves into the ground. They 
oftentimes we'll push, 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 push. And we need to be clear that if you're push, 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 you're going to burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. And a burnout might not be something where you have a heart attack. But for me, my burnout was when I went to cheese. Cheese was a way to turn my mind off. It was a way to numb. It was a way to, you know, being tired and fatigued and, and thinking so much. Like your body can only take so much of that. At some point, your body's just going to kind of shut down a little bit, needs to shut down. It has the right to shut down. And voila. Cheese cravings. Cheese calms you down. It's heavy. It's soothing. It, 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 there's an emotional reward to it. And so if you combine these two things where you're not eating enough during the day, you're working, 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 stress, stress, stress. Cheese is going to be like a god dang magnet to you. Especially if you if you're like trying to not eat pizzas or you're or you're trying to like um avoid certain things, you're you're cutting out cheese from your diet. Restriction is related to the mental thing. We're not going to get into it today. It's just a different kind of category in the mental area, but if you're restricting cheese, you're going to crave it more, especially if you're not eating enough and you're under some stress. So, hope this kind of answers your question. There is an article down below with more information. You can also sign up to the email list. There's a link down below as well where I send out inspirational emails and coaching emails. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Namaste.